it's sort of like having a professional smart person in your pocket. And at the end of the day, that's kind of what all AI is. But you know, now you don't just have that, you have a professional software engineer in your pocket. One thing is certain, coding will never look the same again. For decades, building software meant you either one, knew how to code, two, hired expensive engineers, or three, used clunky, no-code tools that couldn't handle anything complex. Over the past year, AI models became good enough to actually write production-level code, not just snippets, but whole entire systems. All you do is describe what you want, and the AI builds it. No syntax, no debugging marathons, just results. But how did Claude get better at coding than most humans? A major breakthrough happened in 2024. Claude reached a point where it could build full applications with a single prompt. Not toy demos, but real working products. Here's how it works. Let's say I want to design an app that helps me sort my closet. All I need to do is go into Claude, make a request, and hit execute. I now have the makings of my own personalized closet app. Anthropic won't reveal the full recipe, but insiders say two things mattered. One, code is the easiest domain to self-correct. And two, Claude has a strong personality layer. Through a process called reinforcement learning with AI feedback, Claude was trained to be helpful, honest, and harmless. When you talk to people inside of Anthropic, they'll often say, you know, Claude acknowledges uncertainty. Claude has a sense of humor. Claude is like talking to an excited kid. And so I think that that is why engineers and coders really enjoy working with it a wave of founders and product teams started using Claude as their de facto engineer. This unlocked a brand new category of companies, AI native developer platforms, also known as vibe coding companies. Tools like Replit, Cursor, and other browser-based coding environments integrated Claude as the engine behind their coding assistance. Suddenly, non-technical founders could build prototypes, product managers could spin up internal tools, designers could create full working apps, and engineers could 10x their output. Small teams were shipping like big teams. In some cases, companies saw revenue multiply almost overnight because their users could now build complex software with just a prompt. It's safe to say that many of these companies wouldn't be around if Claude wasn't there. This surge has powered Anthropic into one of the fastest growing software companies ever. In less than two years, their annual run rate revenue has ballooned from under 100 million to seven to nine billion dollars. A huge slice of that growth comes from one thing, coding with Claude. Companies pay based on tokens, basically how much the AI reads and writes. Claude is more expensive than some competitors, especially OpenAI's models, but users keep choosing it because the experience feels more reliable, more polished, and more collaborative. In other words, people aren't choosing based on price they're choosing based on vibes. The battle for the future of AI coding is officially on, and the winner may not be the smartest model, but the one users enjoy working with the most.